everyone Josie here from life at 50 and beyond thanks for joining me here again my channel today I'm going to be showing you um, how I set up my sister's uh, recollections planner this is a gift that I am going to be sending to her uh, this coming uh, first week of September she will be celebrating her birthday so I've decided to give her one and I chose this color because it matches the purse that I got her so let me just open this up so that you will see what we have here. I'm pretty sure a lot of you are already familiar with this product. Uh, this is sold at Michael's. So this is how it looks like. I'm sorry about the glare. And this comes with, of course, not just a bare bone of planner. After the 30% off, it cost me only $13.99. Original price is $19.99. So if you see a 50% off coupon, use it if you plan on buying this. Wait for that, or even the 40%, because it's still cheaper than 30%. But as I explained on my haul the other day, that the 30% becomes a better deal if you are buying all the other accessories because they can add up so let me just remove this tag here so that's how it looks like without the tag and that's the protection I think I'm gonna keep the protection for now because I hate seeing some marks underneath although it has one already but let me just uh, uh, you will get the basic one here doesn't have the calendar so all of the colors the different colors I think there are about eight uh, designs or colors uh, for this style I oh, mean for this um, planner and they are about the same uh, you will see the the that it's packaged interior is the same so that means the dividers or the dashboard and also the paper so this one says make great things happen and then this one is just the gold lines this one is believe the very best this is really nice and then it has the to do the to do so you know how it is nowadays bullet journaling is really becoming such a uh, you know, such it's the old array, you know, for, for I think for at least five years now. And I think this one this is the reason why this was created this way to allow folks who prefer, I think, bullet journaling as a standard. But then, even if you're not a bullet journaler, that's a tongue twister, you can also use this as your to do list. And there are some grids here and also some lined paper okay so, so since it doesn't have a calendar there's a there's a pack there that has uh, you know for the for that will work well you can choose different styles and colors that has the 2016 calendar not sure yet if the 2017 was out I didn't pay attention because that one was I think 999 um, I was eyeing more this one the reason why I got this is because it is blank you can put the month and it comes with this calendar is the monthly first and then it has weeklies okay so four uh in each in each uh, month so it would be a little awkward if you put this and one tip by the way and i think this was mentioned by other folks already hauling that when you buy this sometimes some of them have gaps so make sure there's no gap you know because over time that's the problem with ring binder uh, you know uh, planners it can get gaps and this one I made sure there was no gap make sure that it closes and they all line up and they do okay because some of them um, maybe somebody returned it or somebody played with it uh, may have that although I didn't check everything I checked uh, two or three of them and they're all good condition you know the ones that I just avoided is the one that didn't have the complete uh, wrap or anything because I figured you know I want it really intact okay so I chose this calendar again but let me just show you if you put it this way without making any trim it would work but you have to loosen up the pages because otherwise you would have to it's kind of awkward to write on it 
okay so you might as well just kind of loosen up the pages and some folks what they do because it's hard to write <coughs> doing that and that's what's gonna damage the ring sometimes if you put too much pressure is that uh, you know they don't lay flat you can actually cut them um, because when you cut it it's okay um, it loosens fast anyway um, here I have kind of experimented and look it loosened up and I can just put it that way there and so that when you put it here when you turn the pages it will lay flat on one side so um, or I can put them all together because I can cut and then still give her this as a uh, and trim it as a divider okay so this one comes with this too stay humble work hard and that's how she is you know she's very humble and she works very hard she's a self-made uh, you know very successful professional lady and uh, she's really good I mean not just because she's my sister but uh, I really admire her tenacity courage and success okay so I am losing a little bit of light already I don't know I like I prefer shooting with uh, natural light but I am just going to be showing in this portion and then you will see a change in light lighting perhaps uh, a little later uh, as I probably pause this for part two uh, when the light is much brighter um, so I'm thinking of using the stickers again to and I'm going to give this, this to her um, what I'm going to be doing is probably trimming them and here's what I am also going to be decorating this is a tassel a gold tassel um, but uh, I got this from Daiso for about a dollar fifty because almost everything there is a dollar fifty and this was intended for uh, these are A4 business card holder so what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be making some cuts or trims here with the size of this planner in mind and so that she can use it like a dashboard where she can insert things because although there are side pockets here and folder which by the way I really like about this little uh, planner it has pockets are there um, I'm also thinking that she may need a dash uh, you know something to insert photos or notes or some of her uh, essentials planning essentials so I got this set from the Dollar Tree. I hold this uh, one time, and I think this one would really work well. This loop will fit, I hope, any style of pen. And let me just open this up and see. Okay. Oh. Hopefully it writes well. If it doesn't, then of course I'm going to find another pen to use for her. So let's see. right i love it so i am going to be giving these three items here because the reason why i chose this for her i really like this a lot i'm admiring it for myself really but i think it will work well with the scheme here oh it fits perfectly too i don't want to give her a pen that's too uh, thin although it you, you know if i give her pen with uh, like a clip like this it will not fall even though it's loose but look it really looks so sleek right and nice with this yellow and then this gray I'm gonna be setting up what she would need like I said the pouch maybe I'll give her a couple if it will not make it too bulky I'm probably gonna go back to Michael's if I see that I would need more items but I think the calendar is going to be something that she can use and she can start with September <laughs> okay make her some page dividers out of my collection I'll choose some paper uh, from my collection and I'm going to be sending this other two as her extras just in case she runs out of ink then that's what she's going to use and then I can just send her new ones uh, in the future but look at that I think three of them will last quite a bit for her right and again like I said I will be filming the setup and when you see this you will just be surprised probably that it's brighter
the finished initial setup for my sister's recollections planner. I have used some of these colorful gift tags from Marshalls to give pops of colors and also those page markers from Recollections. And here's how the calendar looks like now. After separating the pages from the cover, it opens up better. And look at this. This is a dashboard with sticky notes from Recollections. And look at how the pages open now. It's better and it lies flatter. And I have created some dividers here. Uh, this one has the world theme because she loves to travel. And that's why I used that. And I used another page marker here for the to-do section. And also, uh, just to show there are a lot of pages there, here's another divider with flowers. And here are some grid notes that she can use. And this one is from the Daiso that I cut out for the card holder or business card holders. And that last divider has music notes because she loves music. And I've inserted this uh, notepad uh, with the Paris theme because she's going there for her honeymoon. I replaced her pen with the floral one because she likes flowers. I put a little bit of dedication there. Uh, so hopefully, you know, it kind of gives it a personal touch. So that's it. I hope you all like it. And here's this golden tassel that I got from Recollections as well. And I think it finishes it off really great. So, hope you all like it. Thanks for watching. Please click subscribe, like, and leave some comments below. And I really hope my sister loves it. Happy birthday, Be! I hope you have a grand time. And I hope you like this planner. And talk to you all later. Bye!